Welcome to another edition of Dave's Imagination. Today, we're gonna take a look at this book. The book Dungeon Meister, Random Monster Generator by Jeff Aldrich and John Taylor. You and your companions have delved deep into the catacombs under the ruins of a castle. The room before you includes a dungeon cell, but in front of the cell is a wizard's pedestal. Atop of the pedestal rests a closed ancient book, its cover worn and mysterious. Behind the cell's sturdy bars lies a large, dank dungeon cell. The air is damp and cold with a faint smell of mildew. On the floor of the cell, runes etched in a circular pattern glow faintly, casting an eerie purple light across the chamber. At the center of the runes, embedded in the floor, is a six-inch medallion. This is a scene for an adventure I'm writing. In this scene, the adventurers come upon a summoning chamber. The explorers are collecting magical medallions. The one they need for the, from this room is obvious, but tampering with the medallion will trigger a summoning spell. But the magic is not perfect, and the creature summoned is an abomination a combination of three different creatures. My mind had gone to a flip book. I don't know where I'd seen it. I had a flip book such as uh, this. Will you be my monster? It's a cute little uh, children's book, actually. And for they have sections of the monster, head, torso, and, or top, middle, and bottom, as, as this picture shows. And in each one, they give you a, a little bit different introduction to the creature. This randomly flick flip in this book. And here we have Toots, Toots Snollygoster. And he's commonly found on the beach, at the pool, and behind the shower curtain. So if, as you flip through the many pages of this, you get different combinations of head, or top, middle, and bottom. And with that, you get a different name, you get a different last name, and then you get some little quirk about it. Uh, favorite food. This guy's favorite food is pirate ships and pirates. That's what this guy, that's what Rainbow Octhorpe likes to eat, pirate ships and pirates. So a fun little book for kids. And that is what I had in mind when I went to that, created that dungeon cell, that scene in my adventure. However, I didn't have this book at that time. And when I went to look for it, I found an entirely different book. And a book dedicated to Dungeons and Dragons. I found the Dungeon Meister's Random Monster Generator. Let's take a closer look. Looking at this book a little bit closer, it's a nice uh, firm spine on a nice hard back cover. Uh, it says uh, create 120,000 unique monsters for your 5e campaign. And sure, I can see that there there's actually 50 pages divided in three and you combine all that. Sure, you come up to 120, I'll believe them. A mix and match book for your RPG flip book. Yep, Jeff Aldrich, John Taylor, and illustrated by Sarah Sarah Richard. Nice spinal, and in this book it has a nice spinal and it's necessary for all the pages you could potentially change. Uh, it has its standard OGL open gaming license and copyright notices. They get into the, it has a part one for introduction and then uh, how to create a monster uh, and how to determine the challenge rating and then random creation table. Uh, so you don't just have to use the flip table. They have a table you can roll on, and then it gets into uh, the monster generation. A quick note on the authors. Uh, this Jeff Aldrich, John Taylor, they are from a, from a podcast called System Mastery Podcast. And uh, one of the things is the... the that it talks about Chimera Labs, and in Chimera Labs, they're responsible for all of, or most of the monster monsters created. Uh, they have this cute saying that when you use Chimera Labs, you're not part of the problem; you are the whole problem. And so that's that's a pretty cool uh, statement by the Chimera Labs. On this page, it talks. It gives an introduction, and this is kind of cool. Tired of using the same old foot dragging zombies in your campaign? Sick of the stereotypical war raging orcs making yet another dungeon appearance? That is what this book is about. It is about creating unique creatures that your campaign, your players have never heard of for your use in your your campaigns and your dungeons. 
that's what this book is about and then we can move on part one and they start to go through how to create a monster and in this book you'll have three parts you have the the top the head the torso and then the legs for each of those parts it of the the monster they they control different aspects of the monster so the head controls the intelligence wisdom and it gives some abilities it also gives the senses and skills the torso controls the constitution strength armor class it does also have some abilities and it gives some of the attacks and then finally you get to the legs uh, the leg segment it gives the dexterity the charisma it gives a movement speed and it also gives some abilities now each of the sections they give hit points so this gives some randomness to the hit points and you just add these three up and that gives you the hit points for the creature as for the challenge rating the challenge rating they said they targeted level or cr three so sometimes it might be two sometimes it might lean more to four but the the sweet spot was right at challenge rating three so then we get into the random creation tables here they give a table uh and such that you can roll this is they have a d100 but there's two for each number so it's really 50 different creatures head torso legs you'd roll on that and you could you could get your your random creature created that way i have the book open to its namesake the one they use on the cover i believe and here we can look at the the creature created this is a drag a drag serent the head of a dragon it's the torso of a sorcerer and the legs of a treant and here we can see that this creature would get intelligence of, of 14 wisdom of 16 constitution of 9 strength 11 armor class of 11 its dexterity would be 8 charisma of 12 and a movement speed of 30 feet uh, it has uh, abilities this guy has a flame gout that recharges on five and six uh, down here it has ability of elemental chaos whenever this creature uh, hits with an attack you roll a d6 and, and the damage becomes the type rolled and deals an additional 1d6 damage and there it gives you the different you roll on these three it could be fire cold lightning thunder acid or poison and then it's a treant, so its dexterity is low. It's 8, charisma of 12, and then movement speed of 30, though. It has the ability of defense of the ancient, a horde of small woodland creatures badgers a single opponent. And it goes into more detail there. So, th so that's kind of the how the book works. It has so many of these different options. And so we can just flip this over, give it a little shake, and just randomly pick. All right, so now we have a Drac Ardit Anita, <laughs> whatever the heck that is. And, and so that is how you create a different monsters. You just simply, obviously, head of a of a, a Dracula. I'm not even sure what these other two parts are, but uh, it gives you the stats. You add them up. That gives you the hit points. It has the special abilities, and you can pull this right into your game just as you do it to have some bizarre creature so what do you think do you think you, you would use this book do you think you do you ever use random creatures do you make them up on your own this would really help it at least in imagination tell me what you thought how do you make your random or unique creatures for your campaign do you even use random or unique creatures in your campaign let me know in the comments i'd appreciate it also, while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Help me grow the channel. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. And until next time, take care.